Hello, it's 4 News O'Clock on Whole News Nigeria. I am Okwemi Uluwemi. Here are the headlines for today. Mass shooting reported at Michigan University. Jesus advert at Super Bowl steers debate. Now the news in detail. A gunman opened fire on Monday night at Michigan State University's main campus, killing three people and injuring five, some severely before he was found dead hours later, apparently from a self-inflicted gunshot. The attacker opened fire on Monday night at an academic building, Berkeley Hall, and a nearby student union at the East Lansing campus. Police added that the gunman, described as a black man, fatally shot himself after fleeing. Students were ordered to shelter in place for hours at the campus, which serves about 50,000 students and is located 145 kilometers northwest of Detroit. I can confirm that there were at least five victims. All five victims were transported to the hospital. Some of those victims do have life-threatening injuries. The suspect in this incident, and we believe there to be one suspect, was last seen leaving the MSU Union on foot out of the north side of that building. We are just receiving surveillance footage of that suspect that we will be releasing shortly. Initial information is that the suspect is a black male, shorter in statue, wearing red shoes, a jean jacket, and a ball cap. And we will follow up with additional descriptors of that suspect mass shootings have become alarmingly common in the united states with 648 reported in 2022 slightly less than the 690 reported in 2021 according to the gun violence archive tracker the recent high profile attack saw a gunman fatally shoot 10 people during a lunar new year party in monterey park california schools places of worship and work are common targets in 2022, a gunman opened fire at an elementary school in Nevada, Texas, killing 19 children and two teachers. In 2018, an attacker fatally shot 17 at a high school in Parkland, Florida. In 2012, a gunman killed 20 elementary school children and six adults in Newton, Connecticut. In other news, most Super Bowl commercials feature things like soda pop and cars, but one of the most talked about commercials the day after the big game was the sale of Jesus, and it angered several very different political tribes. Advertisements for an evangelical Christian website called It Gets Us have been shown on US TV since last year during sporting events and the Grammys. The ads use striking black and white photographs of recent events to project Christian values onto modern life. They alternatively portray Jesus as a cancelled influencer, a refugee, a struggling worker, and the other archetypes. And during the Super Bowl, the commercial brought together opposite ends of the ideological spectrum in outrage. Alexandria Osasio-Cortez, the left-wing Democratic Congresswoman from New York City, tweeted, Something tells me Jesus would not spend millions of dollars on Super Bowl ads to make fascism look benign. Meanwhile, Charlie Kirk, founder of the right-wing campus group Turning Point USA, said the advert, Panda to Liberals, is previously called the campaign one of the worst services to Christianity in the modern era and the people behind it woke tricksters. The controversial Jesus campaign is run by the Seventh Foundation, a non-profit organization based in Kansas, which is also known as a signatory. The website is coy about where funding comes from, as most donors prefer to be anonymous. However, David Green, the billionaire founder of art and crafts chain store, Obby Lobby, confirmed in November that it was one of the main donors behind the campaign, which had an initial budget of around $100 million. Jacobin, a socialist magazine, noted that the Seventh Foundation has donated $50 million to the Alliance Defending Freedom, an organization that is designated as an anti-LGBT AIDS group by the Southern Poverty Law Center. 
The number of Americans identifying as Christians has steadily declined in recent decades. In response to questions, It Gets Us did not respond directly to the critics but instead pointed out that the campaign was successful in attracting attention, citing two marketing firms which rated the campaign as among the most talked about Super Bowl ads online. Along with all the tweets, Google data showed a big spike in searches for the campaign during the game. And that's it on today's news. To keep up with All News Nigeria, kindly follow us on all social media platforms displayed on the screen. We'll be back with more news updates tomorrow. I am Okwemi Ogbeni.